Okay, I'm just doing a little follow-up video to the RF signal generator because in the previous video, although I did show some scope waveforms and things like that, I didn't really do anything radio related with it, so that's what I'm going to do in this short little video, or hopefully short little video. I mean, my videos are getting so long just lately, it's like hours and hours and hours long. Although maybe not quite that long, but my videos seem to be getting very long just lately. So anyway, I've got this boombox here. I'm sorry, Arlen, I know you don't like this one, but um, this boombox is convenient because it's here in the room, so I might just as well use it. Anyway, this one has also been Cool Dude Clemmed. You can see a wire sticking out of this. Now this wire comes out here, as you can see, and the other end of this wire is wrapped around the ferret bar antenna inside this thing, so I can put an AM signal into this wire and it will get into this radio. Okay, so here we are. I've got the wire connected to that. I'm going to put this into the long wave range, or the long wave band, and let's turn it on to radio. So we can now hear a lot of nasty noises coming from this, so I'll just turn it up just a little bit. Now I'm going to turn the power to this on. I've got it connected to my homemade power supply. Ouch. And now I'm going to tune this in so we get radio silence. Should be somewhere in the middle. Oh, yes. It would help if I had the selector on the same range as well. There we are. Complete radio silence. Well, let's see if we can put a sine wave in there. Put some audio modulation in there. Again, I still don't know how to do audio modulation from an audio source, but at least... For some reason it's not doing anything. Okay, there we are. Let me just turn the volume up a little. It works a lot better at the higher frequencies. Have to kind of off tune it a little bit to get the to be able to hear the audio modulation. So I don't know, maybe this is actually putting on FM, not AM. Anyway, let's go on to the medium wave. When that thing gets loud. So this is on the medium wave band, so put that onto the same, which is where the medium wave band falls into, and there we are. Radio silence, if I tune this off, noise. Radio silence. And there's the modulated wave, or the modulated signal. some weird noises when I do that. Alright, let's put this on to FM. Yep. Because in the previous test, we couldn't test if it's going to work, at, if it actually works at the FM frequencies, because as I mentioned before, my scope doesn't go up that high, but this certainly does. So, let's just turn up the sound again. Put this onto the FM range, which is at 7, and station be gone. Ah, uh, that horrible modern music is now gone. 
I've jammed the signal with this thing. Now don't worry, I know some of you are saying, oh, you're interfering with other people's radios. Well, this is very low power, so it's, you know, it's not gonna... Excuse me? I think it fell out of tune a little bit there. So this is not going to interfere with the neighbor's radio or anything like that. So, you know, you don't need to worry about that. But, it certainly is working in the FM range and also... Modulation also works. So there you go. Now if I could just figure out, I'm sure this does have an audio modulation feature where you can put an where you can modulate this from an audio signal, although I just cannot seem to get that to work at the moment. But if I do, I will make a video about that. But anyway, that's it for now. So yeah, until next time, goodbye. Now I'm going to see if I can edit this whole thing on virtual dub.